I'm going to be using the Stillman Burn Zeta Series extra heavyweight paper in a 9 by 12 size. And it has a black cover with a spiral bind to it so that the pages lay flat. I already have started. The first page is primed with the Zinsser and gray. And I have studies in here from this past year of Zoom, John Singer Sargent, Lillian Gint. Studies by Gerhardt's is peonies or peonies. Um, some fruit. Alexander Quister's ducks or Cooster. And uh, TC Steel. And Waterhouse. And so I'll begin, and I've some of these pages stuck together, so I've got a damaged page here. So it looks like I'll have to skip that and go ahead and zinzer this next page. You notice the paper is heavy enough that it doesn't buckle. And typically I keep some wax paper between these pages to keep them from sticking because the paint does take a while to dry. You could also do pastel on these pages by using a pastel ground like Golden's pastel uh, uh, ground. It's clear. You could add a little bit of acrylic or you could go ahead and paint the page with some Zinsser and acrylic paint. I'm going to use be using green for this and if you wanted it for pastel you could just add the gritty pastel ground to that to give it some tooth but I'll just be using oil paint so I'm going to use the Zinsser ground and prepare the page. Okay so I uh, do not have the green I want so I'm just using some acrylic blue and yellow and I mixed up a green that leans more toward the bluish side. That yellow I put quite a bit in, but this is good enough. And I'm gonna mix some of the Bullseye 123 primer in with this and go ahead and coat the whole page. I'm gonna just brush it on both ways. This paper is so smooth that it really doesn't give you much tooth. And so when I apply the primer, I like to put it on both ways. It kind of mimics the, the weave of canvas a little bit. I do want to make sure if I'm coating a board um, or, or a um, sketchbook like this, I want to make sure I don't have any strong brush strokes right across where the face would go. Or, and it dries really super fast, so you have to work kind of fast. I did notice where I kind of piled up the the thickness that the pages, if I don't watch it, the pages stick together and then I have a problem later. So just make sure that you check your pages that are behind. And it will start to buckle a little. So I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna do another coat the opposite direction. You can work on a white surface. That's totally up to you. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this second coat on, again, brushing it in the opposite direction. The Having a under painting or tone just helps um, two things for me. It helps the paint go on a little better, um, sit on the top of the surface a little more longer because it fills in the absorbency of the paper or the wood or the canvas. And that helps um, the paint move around a little better for me. Um, I'm painting this pretty solid. I don't usually do that, but that's okay. And I chose this green color because the painting has lots, and actually I would rather have had it a little bit more blue-green, but that's okay. I could go ahead and just brush mix a little bit more blue in here. Let's see what happens with that. Yeah, that'll work. That just helps um, any, you know, if I paint in a thin a la prima manner, which we're only gonna take two, two weeks for this, so that's possible. Some of this can uh, show through and it kind of propels you forward a lot quicker with your painting because you don't have all these white spots glowing through. Now, if I had lots of um, areas that I wanted to be really lit, 
I would be careful and, and maybe use the white because sometimes the white glows a little better through the canvas or through the paint. So I've gone back and forth both directions and given myself a little bit more of a blue-green color. Look at the painting yourself and decide what, what seems to be the mother color that's glowing through and kind of dancing around the painting and holding it all together. The faces are gonna be right in this area, so I wanna make sure that it, there's not any big streaks that will be distracting on the face there. This is an impressionist painting, so I don't have to worry too much. It's gonna be loose, rather loose. So there you go. It's a little dark, <clears throat> middle tone to middle light is good for my, um, my tone. But this is okay because I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint over most of it. We'll lay this flat to dry as I have um, left it upright for you to see the demonstration, but the page will, will dry a little bit better if I lay it flat.